Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about AEAD ciphers. Uh, we, had a, we had a Lightboard lesson uh, previously where I talked about the new TLS version 1.3 protocol that was just approved. And, it, and that's uh, talking about the encryption between client and web server and just the protocol that's used to encrypt all that communication. Well, in the midst of all that, uh, the TLS 1.3 protocol mandates that AEAD ciphers be used. Uh, so before we get into that, again, we're talking about client, web server, communication. And when you talk about the encryption that happens there, uh, you know, the secure communication, when you talk about the encryption that happens, um, then, you, you, then you talk about cipher suites. And in a cipher suite, there are many components uh, part of the Cypher suite is going to talk about key exchange algorithms uh, where you exchange the key between the client and the server. There's going to be hashing algorithms. Uh, there's going to be a bulk encryption algorithm that's used. So there's a lot, a lot of different parts and pieces. Uh, specifically with AEAD ciphers, we're talking about the bulk encryption portion of this TLS protocol. Uh, so again, uh, if you've looked at the handshake, you've got the initial part where the client handshakes with the server and they exchange keys and then you finally come down to the bulk encryption so now this is the you know the session is happening here and and bulk encryption is happening all right so with all that said I'm going to uh, write up a couple of things here uh, and we'll start off with the AE part of the AEAD um, ciphers all right so again we're talking about bulk encryption and encryption in general when you talk about bulk encryption um, one of the uh, popular algorithms that's used is AES, uh, the Advanced Encryption Standard. Uh, there are others. Uh, but when you get down to that, essentially what that does, what that encryption does, is it provides um, privacy or confidentiality. Basically, it's saying that whatever is sent, no one's going to be able to look at it because it's all encrypted. It's all this, you know, um, you know, all this jumbled up stuff. So even if you got it, you wouldn't know what it said. All right, so the privacy is there, the confidentiality, as it were, is there with encryption, um, but the authenticated encryption, the A part of the AE, brings in another piece, and that is the integrity of the message itself or of the encryption. So the, again, the, the encryption part provides the confidentiality, that privacy. The A part, the authentication uh, or authenticated encryption, brings in the integrity, which basically says that whoever sent this encrypted message, um, I need to make sure that the message has not been changed or tampered with or any of that stuff. Alrighty, so that's what the AE portion of AEAD stands for. So it's encryption, but it's authentication or that integrity piece uh, built into it. All right, and then finally the AD um, is the associated data. So there's gonna be some more data that is kind of tagged on top of this it is combined with the encrypted message uh, so that it's all put together and it, uh, and it just really makes things a lot more secure and uh, trustworthy as it were. So, okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick little example here. Of, let's say you have a message right here. So I'm just gonna put MSG for message and then you want to encrypt this thing. So you're gonna run it through some kind of encryption algorithm and then you're gonna have the uh, encrypted message so I'll say encrypted message right here. Alrighty, so it runs through the algorithm and uh, this is your encryption algorithm, that little uh, arrow right there. So now that it's run through your encryption algorithm, I'm gonna put a lock on this thing because this thing is now secure. It's all encrypted, no one knows what it says, right? All right, and that is the E part, that's the encryption part. The A part is the um, uh, the authenticated encryption. So it's the authentication part. So what we're going to do then with this is we're going to run it through what's called a MAC or a message authentication control uh, MAC and we're going to append that, that MAC, onto the encrypted message. So now you not only have the encrypted message but you have a MAC. Uh, some people also use uh, these things called HMAC which is, gets into a hashing algorithm or a, or a hashing MAC as it were. But nonetheless it's a MAC which provides the integrity behind the encrypted message. So it, it verifies that none of this has been tampered with or you know, messed with along the way. So this MAC appended to the encrypted message provides not only the encryption, 
but the authentication uh, that the A portion is talking about. So now you have authenticated encryption. All right, so in the, in the case of maybe a network packet, you'll have the, uh, you know, you'll have the body uh, of the packet. So now we're gonna write like a network packet. So here's like, you know, body of packet in a, in a network sense. All right, and I'm gonna use that. Um, and then you would, of course, encrypt this. So I'll just say, you know, encrypt here. And there would be the, there would be the Mac portion of that as well um, to, uh, to give the authentication. But then I'm gonna bring in this associated data piece into this, uh, into this discussion. And when you talk about associated data uh, in the context of a network packet, then you have things like the header of the packet. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put headers over here headers, all right? And the idea between or the idea behind associated data is that uh, is that you have again in the case of a network packet, you have the headers of the packet and then you have the body of the packet. And with AEAD ciphers, you're going to encrypt the body of the packet, but you're not going to encrypt the packet headers. So they're going to be sent in clear text, but then this entire thing right here is going to have uh, authentication. So I'll say authenticated. So the entirety of all of this, the headers and the body, are going to be authenticated, um, but only the body is going to be encrypted. So what this provides is the authenticated encryption, uh, which is here, body of the packet, that's where this whole Mac thing comes into play. But then the associated data allows the headers to be sent along with that that are in, sent in clear text. So it's, uh, so it's authenticated encryption with associated data. So that is, the, that is the essence behind what an AEAD cipher, so I'll just put AEAD ciphers here, all right? That's the essence or the idea behind what it does. Now the question most of you are, would, would maybe be asking is, hey, I don't necessarily care about the math behind all this or maybe even the theory behind it all. I just need to know which cipher suite to choose uh, so that, you know, for example, the Qualys SSL, um, you know, uh, test that you would run your web server against, uh, I think back in March of 2018, said that it capture graded a B if you don't support AEAD cipher. So again, for many of you, you just say, hey, tell me the cipher suite that I need to support and I'm good to go. All right, a few of them that are popular uh, today, and I'll write them right over here. Uh, one is, uh, is called GCM, which is the Galois counter mode. Um, another one is EAX. And these are both counter mode encryption, um, or, or yeah, counter mode encryptions that are used along with AES. So again, AES is actually the bulk encryption algorithm that's used. This is a mode of, of AES uh, that achieves this AEAD, you know, um, uh, you know, achieves AEAD, I guess, uh, authenticated encryption with associated data. Another one that's used is the Cha 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 Twenty with uh, poly 1305. Alrighty, and this is, Cha uh, Cha 20 actually does not use AES. Uh, it is its own uh, bulk encryption cipher. And then the poly 1305 is the, uh, is the Mac. Uh, it's the message authentication that goes along with that. So Google uh, uses this a lot. Um, by far the one, that's, uh, the, the, the one that is the most popular uh, today is this uh, AES GCM, so it's the AES Galois counter mode. Um, EAX is, uh, it's out there. Um, frankly, I don't even know that EAX stands for anything. I've seen some things that say it stands for encrypt, then authenticate, and then translate. So maybe that's what the EAX stands for, although I have not been able to validate that. Uh, GCM is nice because it doesn't cost anything um, in terms of money, like it's not necessarily patented or whatever. There are other modes out there that achieve AEAD, uh, but they're patented and you maybe have to pay for them, that kind of thing. So, um, so again, by far the one that's probably the most common would be AES uh, with GCM. And, uh, and so you could, as you look at your cipher suites, uh, that, should, that should check the box in order, you know, in, in terms of you supporting AEAD ciphers. All right, so um, again, we wanted to talk about the idea of AEAD ciphers. 
Uh, again, it's the authenticated uh, encryption. Again, you have this MAC that's appended to the encrypted message, so it, it provides the message integrity uh, along with the privacy or the confidentiality, uh, so, along with associated data. So that's where you would have these headers that are sent in clear text, but the entire thing could be authenticated. So that way, if any of it is, uh, is tampered with along the way, then uh, this authentication, this integrity is going to uh, is going to show you that hey, this has been you know tampered with, and you need to you need to you know look at things before you proceed. So anyway, so I hope you've uh, hope you've learned a couple of things here. Hope you've enjoyed this AEAD cipher discussion. I can link to uh, to several of the cipher suites that that would achieve AEAD. Uh, that way, you'll know as you configure your cipher suites uh, what to look for. So uh, hey, if you like this video, you can click right up here and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.